What's up, witches? It's the Zen Witch on a Monday after who we such a whirlwind weekend. So, A, I apologize for the sound of mowers and blowers outside. I apologize for the stack of towels on my bed. Um, this weekend, let's see, my husband had to go to the ER because he messed his knee up. Um, we had sewage backing up into our bathtub last night, so I had to empty the bathroom. And then we thought Piwacket got out today, so we had a mega panic, searched every square inch and nook and cranny of this house. He has found a deep hidey hole. He was here. He did not escape out the door when the plumbing guys came so whew. so yeah so here's me no makeup disarray but I wanted to get a video out to you today so here we are and I've got a really interesting deck to look at it is called Archie McPhee it says up here super awesome feature explanation points fortune cards wealth love wisdom health 36 fortune cards. We've got a heart. We've got a fire. We've got a ram. We've got a duck. It looks like a duck with cat's ears. What the hell? Um, same thing there. Same thing there with a little unicorn with a crystal ball. And then we have three images here. And on the bottom, we have seen the future and it is super awesome. This set contains 36 oversized cards that have so much bizarre and hilarious magical imagery, we don't even understand it all. Comes with an instruction booklet that describes how you can use the cards to try and predict, try to predict, infinitive, try to predict, not try and predict, your, never mind, the future of your friends, family, and enemies. This is published by Archie McPhee. No, Accoutrement LLC. Accoutrements LLC in 2015 is the copyright. And it says accoutrement.com, but I got these on Amazon. So we've got this box where they kind of stand up in the middle. And the deck. Um, let me zoom you in. Here's a little book. Let's put these over here. Do a zoomy zoom. Do a big zoomy zoom. All right, we'll set the book aside for the time being. So nice backs. We've got, um, obviously this is going to be a Leonard Wallen style deck because we're just talking about images. It's not tarot. Um, there's like a lightning bolt and an anchor, anchor and a rose and a fire and keys and bones. So let's see what it's got to show us here. <laughs> the images are certainly playful. So we've got this horse head this horse with a crown it says the king and there's a rampant lion there the queen with a falcon and she's a horse too love with the king and the queen although she is now a unicorn and we've got little cherubs and a cherub ready to shoot him in the heart there's a horseshoe here and a heart the breakup is number four. So we have the wedding and the breakup, and then we see a ship going down. I mean, that's a pretty graphic image. What I don't see on this one, oh, there's a little image of a bird, like a seagull there. You can see the other ones have these little images like that under the number. So going down with the ship there, the ship going down is pretty descriptive. Then we have the handshake. And we've got a hand and a lobster claw and a pigeon flying. Here we have, you know, two people doing a thumb handshake. And there's like, is that a, like an oil rig in the back or something? Interesting. The attack. So there's a flying saucer up there and people are freaking out. And there's a giant <laughs> praying mantis. So we've got this kind of, you know, 60s maybe science fiction-y movie vibe a little bit. I mean, look at this. Absolutely those kind of images that you grew up with if you were in grade school in the 60s. And happiness. So this happy little lad is getting a gift. And look, a TV dinner. We are totally mid-century modern here. Look at the monkey with the symbols. Probably the stuff of nightmares for many people. 
And then we have illness. Let me adjust here. Illness. And there's like the plague mask. And there's a caduceus here with the Archie McPhee thing on it. Is there something there? No, there isn't. Okay, vigor. <laughs> We've got a dude with a chicken mask on pulling a bus by a rope. We've got lungs, brain, heart. Okay. Cityscape in the background. The dogs. So here they all have little uh, Shriners outfits on. Fezes and stuff. And there's a dog. So there's very interesting stuff. The cats. Look at their little fedoras. Aren't they fedorable? The heart. This is some classic tattoo imagery, like traditional tattoo stuff and a heart with thorns. The broken mirror and a black cat and the Friday the 13th and the dice showing seven. So, and it's card number 13 and there's a little skeleton thing there. So, the fox. Out on a farm heading for the chicken coop. The blender. Woo! That's a great image. There are people's faces in the blender. Can you see? <laughs> Whirlwind. There's Archie McPhee again and some tornadoes. The letter. So there's a traditional Lenormand image, but we've got a dog delivering the letter. The snake. So here are the male and the female with the horses' heads, the man and the woman horses, and the snake in the tree. So we've definitely got the Adam and Eve vibe. And that brings along, you know, the idea of a, of a manipulator, the snake being someone that's going to charm you. Abundance. Look at the money just shooting out. And there's a bull. The flame. Ah. Here, let me tempt you into burning yourself. That's what I'm getting there. The kiss up. <laughs> okay, so this is the ass kisser card. Somebody's getting paid off here. Stool pigeon. All right, and then there's a boardroom. The zombies. Wow. The pig. And we've got eating utensils down here. The pig is the farmer. Funny how that all of the animals, or most of the animals anyway, are characterized as humans. The lilies. I will be interested in, to see what the lilies means here, to see if it's similar to Lenormand. Where the lilies can talk about long-standing things, something that's tradition, something that's old, and it, it goes back to the fleur de lis and the lilies representing royalty and lineage and legacy and that kind of thing. This one says long life and happiness can also mean finding that which you seek a positive indicator in any position. Okay. The keys. Certainly that is easy to understand. Lightning, kapow. And that guy's right in the middle of it. The house. So we've got Archie McPhee up here again in this little goony, goofy, bizarre alien Teletubby and a flamingo. All righty. The cat lady. Let's see how sexist this is. Trying not to be <laughs> prejudiced. Too late. You will be alone for a while, at least in terms of human companionship. All right. And the final position means never finding your true love. Oh, man. The rider. So instead of, you know, making it a cat lady, why didn't they make it an adult dude living in his mom's basement? The rider. Okay, that is a Lenormand image, except he's usually not riding an ostrich. And we've got a compass. So talking about finding your way along a path. There's a map. There's a, you know, satchel, like a valise. All of those things bring in meaning. The anchor. But the anchor is kind of secondary to the squid that is eating a diver with chopsticks. And we've got the compass there again. The wish. This dude is coming out of a genie's lamp. And there's a map again. And a dandelion that you blow wishes on. The secret. Oh, the 
look at all these symbols. There's a radar dish, there's a tank, there's a cross, and there's money. So, wow. There's a scarab. Interested in this one as well? Let's see. And let's say that these are the same number of cards as the Lenormand. Dark unseen forces are controlling your movements. Okay, you must take control. The rats. There's a thief. The moon. There's the centaur shooting at the moon. We got the Loch Ness monster there. We got wolves. All the phases of the moon. The spaceship. And there is a squirrel and a spaceship and the squirrel and a space unit. Okay. The sun. Infinity. All right. Fun so far, I gotta say. Congratulations on your purchase of super awesome future fortune cards. These cards are a fun way to take a peek into possible future events. You should know that the predictions of these cards are not written in stone, but simply reflect the most likely results of your current path if you don't take actions to change it. That is exactly the way I describe the future um, category when I come to it in a reading. Is It shows what likely will come if you don't make any changes. The future's in your hand and you should do everything you can to make it super awesome! Uh, how to use. Have the person whose future is being told ask a question related to their future in the area of love, wealth, wisdom, or health. Okay. So, four categories. The next step is to pick a card to represent that person. Two methods to do this. The first is to let them look through the cards and pick the one they think best represents them. The other method is to leave it to fate and use a random card. If you would like them to pick the card, let them do that before shuffling and lay that card on the table. After shuffling for at least a minute, let the person being read cut the deck. If you cho chose to let their card be random, it will be the first card put down. Okay, so there's card one. Card two, the second card is laid face up across that card. All right, a minute. If you'd like them to pick the card, if you'd like them to pick the card, do it before shuffling. And after shuffling, at least a minute, you let them pick their... Oh, okay, I get it. Um, so you shuffle, and the, their, the card that they pulled out randomly goes down first, and then card number two is laid across that. Here's the diagram to see how the rest of the cards go down. So there's one, two goes across... Three is distant past. Four, recent past. Five, where the questioner is headed next. Six, the answer to the question in the distant future. When doing the reading, use the meanings of the card to tell a story. Start by describing the person being read and where they are. Tell them what they've gone through and then where they're headed. All right, let's do this. Well, let's get to the end of the images. And the end of the images is just the last page. That's it. So... Made in China exclusively for accoutrements, Seattle, USA. All right. Simple. This is as simple as it gets. There's not a lot of esoterica to get through. There's not a lot of anything to get through. They're pretty stiff, but it's a small deck. Um, and, oh, here. Let's get this lit while we shuffle for at least a minute. Come on. I've got just pieces of charcoals in here. Don't, oh, and my lighter's about to go out. We are in the shadow of a retro, all right, it just ignited. Thank you for doing your job there. But just to make sure. I just want to make sure they get lit. Come on. Close enough for jazz, as we say. All righty, let's shuffle some more. And while I'm shuffling, let's invite allies and ancestors, guides and guardians to come on in. Clear my mind. And I am ready to receive answers. Ready to have an experience with this deck. I'm going to do several more here. Uh, mostly because I want to 
you know, loosen these up. And they will. Typically, cards that are cardboard, once you start working with them, they will loosen up. And let's face it, my shuffling muscles are pretty hefty. All right, this will be the last shuffle, and then I will cut. So... Um, they said pull one out before shuffling. It's too late for that. So there is our signifier card. Let me back up a little. All right. So this is our significator, and I'm going to back up even more. There we go. So I can hopefully get the full reading out here. All right. So that's the significator, love. So, and we have not asked a question, but the question I usually ask is, you know, what do we need to know right now about where we are as, as a species, as um, a, a whole, as the collective on this planet right now? What do we need to know? So the card signifying us is love. When this card is thrown, it represents two people being brought together. This could be love and marriage, a strong friendship, or a prosperous business partnership. This card is the strongest indicator of connection in the deck. So where are we right now and, you know, what we're capable of, what represents us is, is a card saying that we all want love and connection. And especially where we are right now in time, which is May 2021, um, we are finally seeing glimmers at least in the U.S., of the pandemic slowing way, way down. And they're, the CDC is lifting mask mandates, whether that's wise or not. I will make my own choices. Anyway, um, connecting, this hope of being connected with each other again. So I'd say that's valid. Here's the second one. The Queen. And this is current circumstances around the question. So... All right, so the queen, this represents what is actually going on. The first one is aspects of personality related to the question. So the aspects of our personality related to that is our, our need to be with other people, our being social creatures and wanting to be connected with them again. So what's actually going on Maternal and feminine influences, creativity, wisdom, and fertility are at the forefront, could represent a period of great accomplishment or a period of caring for others. This card contains all the power of nature. Well, what's actually going on is we're heading into summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and um, a period of caring for others. I know that I, as well as a lot of other people, are still saying, and, you know, the, our governor gave a two-week heads up that we're dropping mask mandates. And, of course, people that are Republican in this red state have already just, it's like, what, two weeks? Nope. What's the difference? Let's just take them off. Fortunately, I have been seeing masked people when I go into the stores. And I will continue to wear a mask when I go into a store because it's still out there. Whether I'm vaccinated or not, it's only 90-something percent effective. And I have rather enjoyed not having a cold for a year or the flu. So I will continue to mask in enclosed spaces in public just because my life has changed in that way. So um, caring for others, the power of nature talks about us really wanting to be pulled out into the out of doors and go see live music and go to festivals and fairs. And um, my little town, Kent, is has a thing called Heritage Fest that goes on um, the weekend before the 4th of July. And um, this year, it, it usually has, you know, street vendors and booths and all kinds of stuff and massive crowds, tens of thousands of people. Um, but this year they are saying it's only music. There's usually three or four stages where music is being played and that's all it's going to be. No vendors, no food vendors, no booths. So you will have people coming out to hear music. It will lessen, you know, the people that are just milling around all day shopping um, and I think it will be good for local businesses too, because the restaurants will certainly be making money. Not that they don't when there's street food vendors, but, um, 
So I think we just need to continue to care for each other as summer comes and we start coming out of the woodwork. Card three, and they put it like this in, in the guide, that's interesting, is what happened in the distant past that's having an influence on current events. It represents the deepest part of the person being read. Happiness. In the distant past is happiness. Yikes, what does that tell you? This card means fulfilled dreams and getting what you want. While not a permanent condition, it's a card of hope. When surrounded by negative cards like illness, the broken mirror, the happiness will be short-lived. Okay, well, this is in the past. So it's saying that we are coming from this place of happiness in the distant past, and we're trying to get back to that, that again. We're trying to, to find what we've lost. Card four is recent past. Lightning. Wow, is that ever descriptive? There's the pandemic. There's the lightning strike of, oh my God, everything's happening and we're locking down and people are dying in droves. Surprise! Something is going to happen that fate is not ready to reveal. It will strike suddenly and could be a good surprise or a bad surprise. Only time will tell. Well, there's the pandemic. So here we are bopping along. I mean, let's forget about all the political unpleasantness that was going on. But here we are bopping along as human beings and especially as Americans nothing applies to us and <laughs> lightning strike this is where we are headed next the attack is what came up when this card appears great danger is approaching it is a warning to protect yourself and those close to you if it is surrounded by more positive cards like happiness and the wish, trouble will be minor. Well, we've got lightning right before it. Happiness down here, but that's in the distant past, so I would not say that's near it. Love is near it. And then, wow. Uh, the last one, the answer to the question represents the ultimate result if the current path is not changed. And that's card number 31. And it, I can't get to the right page. The secret. Dark unseen forces are controlling your movements on this issue. You must marshal your initiative and take control. Throw off the shackles of brainwashing and become your own person. Holy shit. Okay. So as much as I try to get away from the political stuff, uh, it just doesn't work because we're in the middle of it still and we are still dealing with people who are actively sitting in Congress, who are actively bold-faced lying about the election, um, about the insurrection, and here it is hidden forces there's still this horrible misinformation going on um we've had cyber attacks and with ransomware and that's not going away anytime soon in fact that's probably going to worsen so we have this pull in us to join together to connect with each other to express our love with each other to get back to being the you know shiny happy people we were before um we want to have good times together, but we need to care about each other. We And interesting that this is crossing us. We want to get back to our individual happiness and our individual lives, but we still, as a whole, don't have any interest in taking care of each other. We split ourselves into us and them at the drop of a hat, and then we don't know how to care for each other. We've got people that are of a mindset of, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. If you're poor, it's your own fault. No interest whatsoever in, in helping people around them. And then we have people that are more conscious that, um, that also just really need to step up the game of being a global citizen, of being a part of a community of humans, whether you know those people or not. We need to think about our human community as, as the people that we don't know are included in that. So that nurturing came from this deep happiness. And look at this illusion of, you know, the 1950s, have your TV dinner and the little boy getting his birthday surprise and 
you know, that kind of denial. So I'm looking at this sort of happiness depicted here and thinking this is the denial part, that that was a, a great happy time for anybody but white males, you know. Um, and then the most recent past is the lightning strike. What we're headed to is an attack. So I think we're looking at the cyber attacks here that those are going to be stepped up. We're looking at possibly another surge of virus as people let let loose of the restrictions too early and maybe uh, too far. So we'll see how that happens. This could also be talking about taking a hit from the sun, truthfully. And here, let's ask. Okay, I got the pig there. Let's see what that says. Maybe I should have shuffled again. This card indicates an abundance of luck that might make you a bit greedy. Enjoy the luck while you have it, but don't overindulge or you'll be the bacon instead of the pig. So I think that's talking about, um, it says luck. All right, wait a minute. An abundance of luck. So that's a positive card. But... It's talking about taking advantage or making too much of that luck. And you know what? I never did waft the fire of Azrael over this deck. I lit my, lit my charcoal and then I ignored it, as I do. So this is saying that, you know, this lightning strike and the attacks, that there's some luck around that. And, I mean, I don't want to say that... Well, I guess I do want to say it could have been worse because the pandemic could have been worse. There were many good actors that were doing their best. Um, and the attack, it's saying don't overindulge. So I think the warning here is about loosening up restrictions, like I said, too soon. Because if you don't, if you loosen them up too soon, don't overindulge or you'll be the bacon instead of the pig. And then the secret here is talking about um, those political actors that are deliberately confusing and throwing monkey wrenches into the whole thing. So, wow. I think I would like some more on this secret, this future. And how did they characterize that again? Answer to the question. This card represents the ultimate result. All right. What can we do to change this? What can we do to change this outcome, the secret outcome? What can we do to change this outcome? What can we do? All right, they're telling me that's it. The rider. Every journey starts with a single step, and this card represents that step. A plan for reaching a goal is set in motion by the person being read or someone close to them. Could mean starting school, asking someone out, changing careers, or any kind of personal growth. So what do we do? We take personal responsibility. We start taking steps to make sure that these secrets come to light. And then we've got abundance here. You will come into some money or financial security. Could literally be just finding some money or even getting a raise at work. If it's surrounded by negative cards, some money will be very small. Okay, so I'm looking at this secret. Steps being taken and money. So I'm thinking, you know, I asked what do we do about this? We spend money on it. We I'm I'm thinking that some some secrets will come out connected with money with finance is this talking about like trump and the lawsuits and the money law the dirty money the foreign money the money laundering maybe this is what's going to come out there's steps being taken about money so if i kind of went like this there's the secret and then steps being taken something is in motion that will bring out information about money that's what i get I, I got to say, I'm really liking these. Um, I'm going to ask another question. We're just at a half an hour, and, and I'm going to ask another question. All right. I am going to shuffle, and we, we I do want to ask a specific question here. 
but I don't know what I want to ask. Ah. Um, I want to ask specifically about the senators and representatives sitting in Congress that are trying to rewrite the history about the insurrection. You've heard them saying, one of them came out and said, well, if you saw the films of that day, there was no difference between, um, uh, 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 you would think it was just a group of tourists that were heading through the Capitol. They were just walking through the Capitol, you know, between the rope stanchions, they were walking through the Capitol and um, just taking pictures of the statues. Yeah. And cops died. Okay. So we're uh, this chunk flipped themselves over. I'm just going to take them. The first thing we get is the letter, a message. Contents of the message can be foretold with the surrounding cards. Okay. It's interesting that, you know, I would love to see something that puts meanings for these cards in each of the positions because this is talking about this is us, you know, or the, the subject. The contents, okay, a warning to not let others influence you too much during this time. So the the subject, I'm not going to say the people, but the subject is, is talking about communication, messages, and talks about letting other people influence you. So there's this echo chamber where they keep repeating the lies back and forth to each other until they are putting them out as if they're really true. And then we've got happiness crossing. Um, when surrounded by negative cards, the happiness will be short-lived. But this is getting what you want. Fulfilled dreams and getting what you want. So I asked about these bad actors. At the moment, they are getting what they want. And that is a forum. Look at the communication. They are still getting a forum on television, on news shows, certainly on Fox, but on mainstream news and, you know, in the newspapers. And I think that... When you've got like Josh Hawley and the people that are literally putting out a 100% lie about what happened, um, they should not get any airtime. They should have no time. But they're very happy right now because they are communicating and they're getting, they're getting that message out. Now, interesting. Deepest past. This card weakens the power of the cards around it. When it appears, it means previous and following cards are less meaningful. In the final position, it means slight disappointment. So this just kind of burns away that happiness. But if I'm looking as far as categories go, see, I wish they would give a different reading, like do, you know, five in a row or a tableau where you do have cards around and you're they're all modifying each other. These are such clear categories that it doesn't quite make sense, but I will use it that way. So the flame in the deepest, I mean, it's like the devil, the foundation of this, that who was the devil? Well, that was Trump and Trumpism. And look at their coming in and flaming. And remember what I said first when I saw that card here, look at this beautiful thing. It's not hot. Go ahead and touch it. You know, so we've got that as the foundation. Recent past. The lilies. I think this was another positive card. Long life and happiness. A positive indicator. Strength in the meaning of other positive cards can mean finding that which you seek. So the most recent past. Okay, I'm having trouble fitting that. Let's go on. The spaceship, I'll take some clarifiers on it. The spaceship then is what's coming in now. A journey, most likely an actual trip of some kind, but it could also be a long relationship with another person. It can also be a period of learning and new discoveries. Okay, so what's coming is learning and new discoveries. And I guess that shows, you know, exploring. It's sort of an exploration card. What's coming in the near future is exploration of the insurrection. Um, investigation of some of these bad actors. They've got investigations coming. And then the last one, the outcome is the dogs. 
thinking of how Trump used the word dog to put people down so much. Friendship and loyalty could mean a true blue partner or friend indicates someone is trustworthy can also mean a time when you will depend on your friends for support so what they what they've got coming in the future is they're really going to need to rely on each other they're going to be looking to each other hey can you help me out here but they don't have much uh track record of being loyal they're loyal to trump but as soon as one of them gets in trouble they will take the others down so i still want a clarifier on lilies tell me and that position, again, was the recent past. What happened recently to lead the questioner to wonder about the future? Also could be a recent decision made or a prophetic dream. Long life and happiness, finding what you seek. So maybe the recent past is, th these are the recounts, like the Arizona recount that is being done in the most fucked up way possible. They're moving the ballots from one place to another and storing them in a place while there's this fair going on around it. They are, um, you know, starting and stopping the recount and moving things. Oh, there's baby squirrels. Moving things in between. There's no oversight for this ninja company that's doing the, counting so there is nothing to say that the results they come up with are valid in any way shape or form so I'd say that's what this is is we're going to have our way and we're going to um, find what we're looking for we're going to manufacture what we're looking for okay I mean I think that's it I think I got the answer I was looking for there let's try a different format um what do i want to ask about here um will donald trump go to prison tell me about donald trump i want i want three cards three cards to tell me about donald trump's future Will he go to prison or not? And look, I got three fucking cards, you guys. <laughs> the moon, the cats, and the sun. That's interesting. The moon, intuition and dreams. The answers you seek are deep within yourself on this issue. Do not be afraid of what bubbles up. Can also mean a time of self-reflection or having a life-changing idea. Life-changing idea. Quit doing crime. Turn yourself in. There's a life-changing idea. A life-changing idea. Something from deep within. Cats. Slyness and treachery. Someone who's pretending your friend may not be what they appear. Also could indicate your friends are not being there when you need them. So, okay. Treachery. I wonder if we've got to come to Jesus moment with some people that are going to turn. Um, maybe like Rudy, who didn't get paid. <laughs> you know, you're in real trouble when you screw people down the line, including the ones that are have been loyal to you. Guess what? They lose their loyalty. So I think there's this... Um, self-reflection you know I mean certainly the moon like in tarot can talk about deception lies hidden information secret things that kind of stuff and then the cat's treacheries and then we've got the sun here good luck happiness and a bright future can shed light on the cards around it weakening negative cards strengthening positive but you can also look at it that this secret stuff is coming out in the light of day because somebody turns tail. I still didn't get the answer about prison. I mean, the sun is a yes card, but the moon could be seen as a no card. So I'm going to do the thing that I do here. Happiness and the letter come out again. That means some good news. If it's good news for me, that means he goes to jail. And then we have the cat lady. Well, that look at the bars. Look at the bars. That indicates being alone, being on your own, and you know not being in a relationship. So I'm looking at that as being alone. 
interesting. I am going to be working with these. You'll be alone for a while, at least in terms of human companionship. This can be used for personal growth or relaxation. I'd say he's going to prison. I'd say that information is certainly coming out. I mean, sun and happiness is like happiness for me because I'm asking the question, is he going to prison? This isn't Trump asking the question. For him, it would be bad news. For me, it's very good. Pardon me. Very good news. So I would say, yes, things that have been hidden um, and the treachery is coming out into the light of day. It's going to bring happiness. There's all kinds of communication going to be happening. And then cat lady with literal bars behind her, he's going to fucking prison. That makes me happy. And these are super awesome. Uh, <laughs> these are super awesome cards to read the future. So, you know, all right, hold up. Look at this. Wait. Okay. All right. So there's a thing here where there's, you can see it. There's this level and then there's another level. So they will stay upright instead of going like this. So I guess you got to make sure you get them straight down in there. There we go. And then you put the super awesome book right in there with it. Um, you know, I mean, when you use these cards, you have to use this accent, right? Because they're super awesome. <laughs> All right. I thank you so much for hanging out. Whoa! With me today. <laughs> and I also, also, I hope you stuck around this long, but I want to thank viewer Laura for the incredible donation, the tip that she sent me on Saturday. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you so very much for that. All right, you guys, you can send me a tip too. Hit the PayPal and the Streamlabs down below and you can send me whatever you want. Nothing is too small. I love every bit of it and I send you blessings for it. If you would like to pick a deck from my wish list on Amazon, send that to me and I will read for you um, on the video. And if you... Uh, would like to buy me a deck that's not on that list, just buy something cheap that is on the list and then you can add something to it. So if you have decks that you know are out there and I have not found out about them and they're not on my list because everything I find out about goes on my list pretty much, um, you can do that. You can broaden my horizons. Doesn't that make you happy? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, hook up with me on Wednesday nights for live stream readings and on Saturday afternoons for live stream virtual ritual. They're getting good, you guys. I hope to see you there. I hope you have an excellent day. I hope you are continuing to keep yourself safe and healthy. And until I see you again, this is the Zen Witch. Blessed be.